bunch of bloody legends. This is Aussie Gamers 17. Let's get straight on with things, guys. We are doing the Celia Crystal Tunnel. Now, some of you might already know this place. I think I gave a big warning about it real, real early in the walkthrough, guys. There was a chest, and if we had it opened it, it would teleport you to the Celia Crystal Tunnel. And when we saw that chest, we were way too underleveled to go to Celia Crystal Tunnel. But we're not anymore. We're going there right now. And it is right there. So we are not going to wait any longer. We have to go out this big uh, opening and make our way to that tunnel. We can hop on our horse to get there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So once we come out, take a right. Follow this around to the right. Real, real simple to get there from where we left things at the end of the last video. Oh yeah, that's the big giant squirty thing trying to get me. Too slow, mate. And here we are already at the entrance. In we go. Uh, how wrong was my marker? Not really. Okay, there we go. And we've got our uh, side of grace for this area. Let's uh, activate that. Just going to rest here. Just so that we reset everything. Uh, do I need to change any of my spells? Blah, 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 blah. No, nah, not going to be needing any new spells for this. And if we look over to the left, there is some loot. Rot grease. And I'm going to pop on my lantern. Now, I'm actually going to start things. Um, once we get up there, we're not going to get into any combat until we are actually in the same location that you would start things in if you got teleported. Uh, not because I want to go there, but because I find that's an easy spot to base ourselves and kill everyone. It might be because the first time I ever came here, that's what I had to do. But um, now this always looks like a fake wall or something, but no, not, I mean, not that I know of. I don't know how to get through there if, if it is something you can do. Anyway, inside we go. We're going to get our magic glint blade ready. Uh, I've got my sword. I'm going to, I'm going to swap that. We're going to swap our Uchi Katana for our Morning Star because we might be using it on some miners and they definitely prefer strike rather than piercing or whatever it is. Piercing or slashing. Uh, okay, now these miners, we're going to ignore all of them for now. They are not the threat at the moment anyway. The roach-like enemies, I know we've seen some of them already. They're uh, probably a bit stronger here and they are the threat when we're in here. So we're going to sneak past all these miners. Do not upset any of them. Roll past those bags that you can't really walk up there, as far as I know. Ignore all these miners, and we're going to get straight in this hut right there as quickly as we can, because there's one of the uh, roaches standing on top of it. And there he is. He's going to wake up just from us coming close. I'm going to ignore that chest just for a second. And the only other thing, sorry, I forgot to mention it. There's a patrolling miner. Shoot, I have no idea where he is. That's probably why I didn't mention him. Is he up there? There he is. Sometimes he could possibly, depending on how long you took, he he patrols all the way down here. So while he's still up the top there, I'm going to look out and look to our left, to the west. I'm going to lock onto this guy. And I'm going to send... I'm going to test this out at... I can't remember. We're going to test it out at four magic glint blades. And then I'm going to roll back in. Okay, so two was enough to get him done. Might send three just to make sure. And we've got one right on top of us, as I pointed out before. Now, sometimes when you kill that one, he might jump down there. That has happened to me once before, but usually he stays where he is. Um, and if he does, we're going to just sneak up this little hill. Wait, keep an eye on that one, actually. Keep an eye on him. Oops, oops. Yeah, we don't want this guy getting uh, involved. So what I'll do is I'll get my pebble out. We'll pebble him. All right, one pebble's enough for him. And now we've still got that guy up there. He hasn't freaked out too much. You can see he's getting sus. We might wait a second, see what he does. And preferably we want him to turn back around. If you're really, really worried, you just leave that miner and you just be patient. You wait for him to walk back up the hill. And you take care of this guy first. Obviously, I made a split-second decision, decided not to do that. Now, if, yeah, there we go. He's going back to normal. As soon as he does that, we can go up here. 
aiman him and give him well two or three three to be safe and back down there we go he's dead and now i'm going to open this chest and this is where you get teleported to if um right into this little hut if you open that chest early in the game. I know I gave a warning about it, about not opening it. I forget. I think it's at the, um... Is it at the Dragon Burn? Let me just check something. I could be really wrong here, guys. I think it's here at the Dragon Burnt Ruins. I could be completely misremembering, though. Alright, now that we've gotten rid of the first two roaches, we'll, don't worry about what he dropped. We'll grab that later. We've got another roach right there, and if we haven't already, we would take care of this patrolling dude now as well. But while we're here, we're going to lock on to that guy, and we're going to give him a couple of glint blades. Or three, to be precise. Fill my FP up. Alright, he is dealt with. I'm going to grab my pebble out. I'm going to deal with this guy here, just this one. One pebble for him. And now we're going to go back and sort out the rest of these um, miners. Sorry, miners that we left behind. Should be able to get around behind each and every one of them. God, okay, there we go. Okay, my uh, thing was being a bit fidgety there. Pick up whatever it is they're mining, the cracked crystal. Drop down and do the next guy. Should be able to get... Oh, it's two, two in a row I stuffed up there. You should be able to get backstabs on all of them. I did about half an hour ago when I did this. Alright, same with this guy. But that's the reason why we've got the Morning Star out. It is definitely the easier weapon to take out these guys. jump up here and get behind him and give him a backstab as well there we go grab all this and there's always these two smithing stone level fives give me that give me that we already took out that guy let's just grab this loot while we're here nothing nothing too important now, obviously, we've cleared out most of this. Uh, there's some loot inside the hut here as well. Now, I don't recommend... That's just a golden rune fire. I don't recommend going back to the side of Grace. Um, if you need to, we do have a boss fight at the end of the tunnel. If you need to, I'll, I'll show you a time where we could do that. And in fact, I might just do it for those that are following along. Right before the boss fight, we might do that. Uh, but for now, we're going to head all the way back up here. Going to ignore all that for now. Look at that ladder, though. And the loot up there. We're going up there shortly. For now, we're going up the top. Take out another miner. What are you doing, mate? Make sure you grab the smithing stone at five. And you can grab the cracked crystal. Where this uh, third roach was, we're going to go over here and grab... Another rune arc. How many rune arcs have we got? Let's have a look. 14 I've got. I think I've used, what, two or three? Uh, died a couple of times, as you all should know or have seen in the walkthrough. And now we're going to run and jump onto the roof where that second uh, roach dude was. And see what he dropped. Just a flower. Damn it. They can drop their weapon, I think. And they can drop... Uh, enemies in here can drop good smithing stones as well, which... I don't think I got lucky for any of them. Let me see. Are they all... I didn't really... I don't know if I paid attention to their bodies, but it doesn't look like they dropped anything. Just want to check these ones. See if I missed picking anything up. No. All right. Jump across here. Now, jump across here. Don't worry about that loop just there if you fall down here. Because we can just jump up here. And actually, we can get it later, but I'll just show you a way of getting it here. Can get it here, game. Don't make me look like a liar, game. I literally just did this. There we go. And up here. And up. There we go. And up we get. And all that for some Cuckoo Glintstone. But you can't leave it behind, can you? Alright, now we've got a big, tough miner. 
All the other miners weren't a threat. This one is. Trust me. Have your shield ready. I'm just making sure this is the right one. Da, da, da. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to lure this guy. He's right. Let's see if I can show you him. Creepy, creepy, creepy. There he is. And he's facing this way. What I want to do is I want to throw a knife at that barrel and get him to go and investigate. So I'm going to throw a knife. There we go. I got the barrel first shot. You may need more than one go at it. Sneak up behind him and get a backstab. Oh, that was close. And then do a charge attack. What was that noise? It felt like some alarm or something went off. Make sure you grab the smithing stone five. And I think we are happy with that. Yep, yep, yep. All right, out and up the ladder. No, up the ladder or kick a ladder? No, no, we want to go up a ladder, game. Notes, what are you doing? All right, we're going to go up this ladder and then behind there for a somber smithing stone, I think. All right, so just crouch, head behind here. Okay, and I'll explain what we're going to do next from here. Over there on top of that roof where I've just locked on is another roach enemy. When we get on the other side of this and we get sort of a bit closer to him, he just automatically wakes up. It's impossible to sneak up on him. He wakes up when you're a certain distance away. When he wakes up, we're going to shoot him with, I'll use three magic glint blades. Uh, and then as soon as we've shot those three glint blades off, we're actually going to drop back down there sometimes not all the time but most of the time when, once you've done that it alerts another miner and he comes running so we're going to drop down the ladder and we're going to get ready for him to drop down and take care of him that way if he doesn't i'll show you how we take care of him but that is the plan at this stage so lock onto this guy move forward until he wakes up once he's awake you know you're close enough shoot three lock off and turn around and hop back down the hole I'm gonna get my shield out and I'm gonna wait here. I can hear him coming. There he is. All right, guard counter. Or get behind him and backstab him. Either either. All right, he's dealt with. I'll show you where he would be if he didn't come running or where he can be found. But once we've dealt with him, we go back up the ladder and don't fall down here. We want to cross this little thing here. Now, I think where we came from, you could drop down there to get that loot that we uh, already got. Okay, now that guy that came running, he is usually in here. You can usually just sneak up on him and do a backstab on him in here. If he's not here, grab the chest. Get the rock blaster spell. It's not a bad spell with what sort of fits in with some of the things we're doing, but uh, we don't really need it. And we've got two more smithing stone level fives. And now we've got to go up another ladder. And I'm still in sneak mode because there's two more miners up here, but I really probably don't need to sneak. All right, when these uh, miners, when we get up here, they're going to probably automatically wake up. I'm going to try some more hoarfrost stomp on them, even though my hoarfrost stomp has not been going too well. Here they are, they're waking up. Killed one of them and... Yeah, actually went pretty good. They still don't like Quart Frost Stomp. Good to know. And he dropped a Smithing Stone 4. Very good. And this one's always here, the Golden Rune 4. Um, now, make sure that you kick this ladder down. This is so that we can actually get back up here without having to go around and do all that other stuff that I just did. Uh, if we look down there, pretty much straight in front of me and down there is the way back to the site of Grace. Uh, I'm just trying to decide if we do that right now. Yeah, it's probably the best option is to do it right now. If you want to go back, I'm actually not going to. I said at the start of the video that I was going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to. I mean, we've got, if you're following this, we've got, the main thing we don't want to run out of is FP. And we've still got six flasks of FP. We haven't taken any damage. We haven't needed to heal. So no, I'm not going back. But if you need to go back, all you would do is... Well, you'd have to repeat a lot of what I just did um, in order to get here. You just wouldn't have to go onto the roof and then around there and come back up through here. You'd use this ladder here to get back up as a bit of a shortcut. 
Uh, now, once you've done that, you're happy and you don't need to go to the grace, or you do, when we go through here, we're back to normal programming, uh, which is, we got the SOM before. Where was the SOM before? Did we get the SOM before? God, I, I distracted myself. I think that was over here or something, wasn't it? Anyway, through here. And uh, once we get through, oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna stick to the left. We're gonna get our magic limp blades ready again. And I wanna go left of this fire and I wanna be able to see those two roaches right there. I'm gonna shoot two at him and then two at the next guy. And then I'm gonna make sure they both die. Yep, they did, excellent. I was ready to shoot another one just in case. And we've got at least two charges of glint blades left because we're gonna need them. We're gonna head over to this side of the cave and just sort of get as wide an angle as we can on this opening. This fire's gonna get in my way, isn't it? All right, that's who we want. We're gonna send two glint blades. You know what, if you've got enough for three, may as well. All right, refill my FP. Grab the dragon wound grease, whoop de doo Head in here for another somber smithing stone. Level four. And I'll just check my notes. Yes, yes, yes. And then we go upstairs and grab a new talisman. We are kicking butt. The Faithful's Canvas talisman. I don't even remember what that one does. Let's have a quick look. Faithful's Canvas. I honestly don't. Oh, this one raises potency of incantations. We mostly use sorcery, so we don't need that pretty much at all. Okay, with the talisman done, it is boss fight time. So once again, final warning, if you really want to go back to the grace and repeat any of this to come back with more health and more FP, go for it. If not, it's boss fight time. So this is the boss door here. Once we open that door, we will be in the Boss fight. Now, I don't think we've fought one of these yet. It is a falling star beast. Similar to... Similar to the enemy that we fought at the end of the... Um, what's it called again? Yeah, Deep Siofra Well. Um, similar, but not the same. It is a big giant bull, basically. Uh, running around trying to kick you in the head. And it can jump. And uh, some of them can do magic. I can't remember if this one does. Anyway, our plan is to take our Physic to enter the door to unleash Oleg. And then while Oleg's keeping him busy, we'll refill our FP, and then we'll unleash as many magic limp blades as we can until we need to either refill our FP and do it again, or he dies. That is the whole entire plan. You may have heard it before. Let's go have a look. All right, so, Physic. Get Oleg ready. Enter, uh, stand up to enter. Oh, leg, oh, leg. All right, as soon as we finish pushing the door open, there we go with Oleg, lock on. I'm gonna fill up my FP, Oleg's gonna go get started. I'm gonna run off to the side, get him Oleg. Oh, that was lucky I ran off to the side. And now we're gonna unleash as many glint blades as we can and try and avoid the boss. Get him Oleg, get him Oleg. Oh, that tail. I didn't think that tail could get that far. My bad. Uh, Oleg, I need you to distract him for me. There we go. Oleg's attacking him, so he should be... Oh, no. He's coming for me. All right. I'm just rolling out. All right. Here we go. Now... Oh, the tail got me again. He wasn't even going for me, though. All right. Lock on and glint blade him. Good work, Oleg. Good work. All right. He's going to be coming for me now. I'm going to roll. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, he got me with his horns. That's unfortunate. All right, all right, I'm okay. I'm gonna heal straight away. Just heal, mate, just heal. Okay, and now roll away. <laughs> this is not going well. But we're actually okay, when you think about it. We're fine. He's nearly dead. Oleg's still doing his thing. I can just give him a couple more blades and then he's done. That may have looked like it wasn't an easy fight, guys, but it really was. We were never in too much danger, other than when he grabbed me. Um, as long as you ha still had health when he grabbed you up, we get a Sumber Smithing Stone 6, a Smithing Stone 7, some Gravity Stone Chunks, and the Miner's Bell Bearing. 
That is important, the Miner's Bell Bearing. We're going to be giving that to the Twin Maidens uh, at the very start of the next video. So we are going to start the next video at the Round Table Hold. So let's fast travel there. Pardon the interruption, guys, but I just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that I make on my channel. I need all the support I can get from you bloody legends out there. So please hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel, or you can join my Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash AussieGamer17. Thanks for the help, you bloody legends. Okay, and that is us, guys. That actually went a lot quicker than I thought it would. So this is going to be a shorter video than most of the videos in the series, but that's all right when we're up to part number 67 with at least 50 more, I'd say 70 more maybe to go. So I'm happy about that, guys. I hope you are too. If you are, show, some, show your appreciation with the thumbs up button and the comments. Really appreciate it. There's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.